Hi everyone, Phil from Tech for Techs here. Today we're going to be looking at this 4-in-1 and this 6-in-1 USB Type-C hub from Prevo. We've got links in the description below if you're interested in purchasing. Also, if you click those links, you'll get the latest prices online. Are you looking for a great networking solution? Well, Tender has it all. Finding your BT router no longer has the power? Then try one of these from Tender. Hell yeah! Is the Wi-Fi on your laptop not working and you need a discreet solution? Well, then get this from Tender. Hell yeah! Finding the kids can't get Wi-Fi in the bedroom and they're making your life miserable? Well, you need to get one of these from Tender. Oh, hell yeah! Looking for a low cost solution to get internet into your home office? Then you need to get some of these from Tender. Hell yeah! For all your networking needs, trust Tender. Hell yeah! Okay, as you can see, we've got both of the hubs here. We've got a 6-in-1 and the 4-in-1. The 4-in-1's in the slightly bigger box. You can see the card reader, or the hub, should I say, on the front of both of them with a USB Type-C cable. There doesn't seem to be any evidence of an adapter for USB Type-A if you need to use them in a USB Type-A device, which is a shame. It's always nice to have that option because you may have, for example, a laptop with USB Type-C where you can connect this up to, uh, and then you may have a desktop which doesn't have USB Type-C, and you can't use it in there without buying a separate adapter so i would have liked to seen a separate adapter you never know there might be one in the box but it doesn't mention it so model 501r which is the four in one uh, is a usb type c it comes with a usb type c connector on it as well it also comes with two usb 3.0 connectors a, a hdmi as well as an RJ45, if you're not sure what that about is, it's a gigabit Ethernet connection. So basically the LAN connection you would plug into your router with or something like that. So it basically allows you to get internet to this device and obviously that will be then connected to your PC laptop, which would then give that obviously your internet connection. So that's pretty good. The 6-in-1 is slightly different, it's called the C605A, and again it's USB Type-C, doesn't mention anything about USB Type-A. It's got a HDMI, it's got one USB Type-3, a USB Type-2, a USB Type-C, an SD card and a micro SD card. Those are usually the cards you use for cameras, mobile phones and most smart devices. So it just gives you a, a rough idea. There are other specifications for both and we'll put both of those on the screen, but let's just have a quick look at the back of the boxes as well. So on the back, it does list all the different things on there and specifications if you do want those. So it'll tell you all about everything you need to know. Okay, so this is everything inside the box. You, first of all, you've got the plastic, which basically the unit goes and stops it banging around inside the actual box. So it's not too bad. The 6-in-1, for some reason, comes with a little plastic cap on the end of the USB Type-C connector, where the USB... Uh, sorry, the 4-in-1 hub does not come with that. Not sure exactly why one does and the other one doesn't, but it's not really needed this day and age, to be honest with you, what's going to happen to the connector. USB-C connectors are usually pretty robust. Uh, but otherwise that's pretty much it there's no manuals no documentation so that's a bonus on top of that there is no way to well, find instructions they don't really have a website or anything like that but again these units should be pretty straightforward it's like plug in and away you go it's something you don't really need a manual for so that's even better uh, but obviously if you do want more documentation or help there is none of that information here <laughs> Okay, so let's have a look at the 4-in-1 first. So you've got your cable, which is probably around about 20 centimetres long, 15, 20 centimetres long. It is a USB Type-C. There is no adapter there, so if you have got only USB Type-A connections on your computer, you'll either need to buy a different device or an adapter so it will fit. And otherwise, there's not much else to see on the actual box itself. There's no branding, there's no serial numbers, there's no nothing, basically. So you wouldn't really know much about it. Uh, but otherwise, you've got the connections on there. So you've got a HDMI connection, so that's connect up to a monitor or a TV. 
You've got two standard USB 3.0 ports on there. You've got a USB Type-C port, so obviously if you're using this on a machine what has got a USB Type-C, that's going to obviously use up the socket, but then it also gives you an extra one on top, so that's good. And then you've got your Ethernet connection on the side there, so you can connect up to a network. Otherwise, that's pretty much it. There is actually a total of five connections altogether, but I'm guessing the Classin is a four-in-one because two of them are the same type type but otherwise that's pretty much it there's not a lot to see there's not a lot of uh, model numbers or anything like that it's well built it's pretty much feels like it's all one unit um, so it's not much really to break there or anything like that so it's basically just plug in and away you go Okay, so this is the device here. Again, you've got a cable on here. It's probably not as long as the 4-in-1. Obviously, this is a 6-in-1. I have taken off the little cap or condom off the end of the cable, which is not really needed. Uh, it does have a little LED light there, so where the other one, I can't see it on there. We'll plug it in a minute, but I can't see any signs of any LED lights on the other one. And again, no branding, model numbers, serial numbers, or anything along that lines on there. But the connections it does have, again, is a USB Type-C. Standard USB 2 and a standard USB Type 3.0. Then you've got your full size SD card for things like camera cards and stuff like that, and then a micro SD card for things on the lines of uh, cards what you put in your mobile phone, smart devices, and things like that uh, that tend to be used on your smaller devices. But otherwise, you have got a HDMI connection on the end there. So again, you can connect up a monitor or a TV to your laptop or PC or whatever you're connecting this up to. But otherwise, that's pretty much it. There's nothing else really to see on there. Uh, but otherwise, it's pretty straightforward. Thank you for watching this video, everyone. It's really appreciated you made it all the way to the end. Please make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and even click that bell so you get notifications of new videos and live streams. It does help support the channel, and supporting the channel basically means that we can release more content for you, and also better quality content going forward. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.